Hello everyone, this is Robert with Team Copperhead. As we prepare Copperhead for the next season of BattleBots, we realize that due to the very nature of all the robots that exist, we just don't know who we're going to be able to fight, and we kind of feel it's a little bit irresponsible, honestly, to enter the competition with just a single weapon system. So we've decided to go modular this year and have several different attachments that will allow us much greater flexibility when facing other opponents. The first of which is the lifter mechanism. So let's talk about that. So I realized in the introduction that I called this a lifter mechanism, but it's really inaccurate to call it a lifter. It's pretty inaccurate to call it a flipper as well. It's a completely different type of technology, and I'll get into that later. But first, we got to look at what the problem is. With most lifters or flippers, they are limited to the number of flips that they can have. If you look at the bot like Bronco, it uses a compressed air, a pneumatic cylinder, and it punches that lifter up in the air, and it can really only do, let's say, about 10 flips during a fight. And then someone like Hydra came along and used a hydraulic system. Now it can recharge, and we were seeing anywhere from you know one to two dozen flips per fight. These are great numbers, they really are, but we need to move this technology much further along and get out of the double digits. Let's get into triple digit flips. You see, there's always something that we call the refractory period. There is the time between that first flip and then that lever resets and then there's a second flip. If we assume that this refractory period is about, let's call it two seconds, that means you're gonna be doing about 30 actuations per minute. A fight on average is about three minutes or at max is three minutes. So you're still limited to less than 100 flips per match. What we're trying to do is blow that number completely out of the water and get into triple digits. We're going to get rid of the refractory period. We've been able to successfully reduce the refractory period down to just a couple microseconds using microflip technology or MFT. Now MFT is nothing new. It was introduced into Japan in the late 70s or early 80s, but it just really didn't see any broad commercial appeal until recently. We're just taking this technology and applying it to BattleBots. So we call our flipper mechanism the cantilevered lever arm puncher. Let's go take a closer look. So here it is, the cantilevered lever arm punter, or the clap. This is the main structure of the clapper arm, and as you can see, it is actuated by the drum. So when the drum spins around, that is what creates the flipping motion. Now we are only limited to the RPM of the drum. And as I mentioned earlier, most flippers can really only do about 100 flips per match maximum but on the clapper, we're able to do about 120 per second. That means during an entire match, we can actually achieve over 22,000 flips. One of the benefits to this system is it doesn't require any additional electronics or motors. Since we're actuated directly from the drum, we can use all of the electronics inside of the bot. And if we have any issues with the clapper being compromised, we can simply revert back to the secondary weapon, which is the drum spinner itself. I think the only thing left to do is to turn this on and test it out. One quick note about safety before we turn this on. As you might be able to hear in the background, it is incredibly windy here. And the reason is, yesterday I was doing the first tests of the clap system and I had up to about 80% and it actually did some um, shifting of weather patterns and that is why we're getting so many um, swings in temperature lately. Monday here in Colorado is about 70 degrees and it's going to snow tomorrow and that is largely in part to having the clapper up to 80%. So, I am not going to be responsible for ushering in a new ice age, so we're only going to be testing this about 10 to 20%. Be responsible, people. This is Robert Cowan. The date is March 29th, 2021. This is the second test of the cantilevered lever arm punter. Three, two, one, activate. So I don't know if you can hear that, but the wind 
has picked up dramatically in the past five minutes. So we had to stop the testing prematurely. I really don't want to have any wind damage to my house or to anyone else in this subdivision. So I think it's just kind of the responsible thing to stop the testing for right now. Once we get this technology fully implemented, we have a couple different strategies that we can use. So let's go and talk about the strategies and how we are going to use the CLAP system in combat. Because the CLAP system technology is so different from that of a traditional flipper or lifter, we need to have a little bit different strategy. For a traditional lifter, you really want to be very patient. Wait, 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 ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. And then just get that perfect hit and flip your opponent up in the air. But with the CLAP system, it's just a bunch of these really miniature explosions or sonic booms that are happening at a fraction of a second. So we can treat it a lot more like a traditional weapon system like the drum or a vertical spinner. And what we want to do is generally just get the opponent into the corner, just corner them, get around to the backside, and just give them the clap. That means if you're coming to BattleBots in season six for the 2021 filming, Copperhead's gonna give you the clap. Be warned. So hopefully this gives you a little bit better idea of the first of many modular attachments that we're going to have for Copperhead in the 2021 season of BattleBots. The reason we started with the flipper or lifter design is no one's really innovating in this space whatsoever. There is no one doing anything new and in the 2021 season there's not going to be anything different whatsoever in this type of weapon system. So we figured we would be the ones to innovate and show you that more can be done in this space. Ultimately, we just want to go up against a team. We don't care if it's Bite Force, Tombstone, you know, some student college team. We just want to give them the clap. That's ultimately what we're out to do. So, as always, thanks for watching. Check out my Facebook page for any updates to my channel. Check out the Copperhead Facebook page as well for all the new modular attachments that we're going to have in the 2021 season. Thanks for watching. See you next time. The clap. You can imagine what this thing is going to be like when it hits 100% power. <laughs>